Hello, Ting. Hello. Hello, Kira. Um, yes, Harry. What do you want from me? I've got a challenge for you. What challenge? So first, <laughs> grab a camera and record this phone call. You've got thirty seconds. I'm seated in front of my camera already. Okay, I got camera. What's up? What's up? Okay. What is one food craving that you're having right now? Shao rou fan. Oh my goodness, I mean shao rou fan. Why? Mukata. But mukata is something that I will not eat at home because it's gonna be a bit messy. Well, now I think about it, right? I actually am craving for it even more. I don't think you need to think about it anymore because in this episode of Eat Book Cooks. You have been challenged to cook mukata shao rou fan and satisfy your food craving at home. Oh, so to satisfy my cravings of shao rou fan, you're gonna send me some shao rou fan, right? I thought you're gonna like deliver it to my house. Nope. What a bit! <laughs> Did you not just hear me? I just said that mukata is not something I'll eat at home. <laughs> you have twenty four hours starting from now. Oh, you're not alone, by the way. Oh, is she, wait, wait, is she cooking? So she's making shower also. I'm not gonna answer any questions. So... What do you mean? Hi. Hello, Clarice. What do you mean? She really cut on me, and this is karma because I did that for an episode. Oh my gosh, Clarice, what's this sudden? It book cooks challenge. So yeah, I think do the thing for too long. It's very straightforward. The food that I'm definitely craving for is indeed shao rou fan. But I don't even have an oven at home. Okay, I only have an right. oven toaster. Will it work? It might work. It might work. I need to do some research first. I do not have the mukata pot to even start with. I have a steam boat pot. It can grill stuff like, and also can be a hot pot. Okay, wait. But <sighs> the worst thing is. My mama is gonna kill me because I am gonna make the kitchen early. We will go grocery shopping in a bit. See ya. You know what's the difference between a toaster and oven toaster? With an oven toaster, you won't be able to control your temperature. Not only that, my oven toaster in particular, the timer isn't working at all. So I have to be really mindful of the timing. But honestly, I've done a lot with the oven toaster I have. I've made roast vegetables with it, so I think it's possible to cook something in the oven toaster. Uh, usually, when we do ebook cooks, we actually do many trial tests. So with the twenty four hours, I'm going to do one trial test, and then tomorrow I will film and cook my hopefully perfect shao rou. Wish me luck. Oh my god, guys! It worked. With this toaster, you can actually really make shao rou. So I'm all about that low efforts, high returns life in a kitchen, and this fits the bill. Here are the ingredients that you need. First, you need the pork belly. You need rice vinegar, shao sing wine, white pepper, five spice powder, salt, baking soda, aluminum foil, and your trusty toast oven. Okay, first step: grab your pork belly. I've already cut mine up into slabs like these. Oh my god, so I got the other. Ew, ew, ew. Okay, first you wanna slice off the nipple. <laughs> it's over here. And then next you need to score your skin with a knife. If you have a meat tenderizer, that's even better. You wanna trap some salt for a really crispy crackling later. Do not cut too deep into the pork belly because if it hits the fats or the meat instead, right, when it cooks, juices will start steaming out and then you'll lose the crunchiness of the crackling, which you will never want to happen because that's the start of the dish. Okay, now for the marinade. You need Shaoxing wine, five spice powder, pepper, salt and sugar. And then you just mix well. Wrap this marinade all over. So you just wanna give it a good massage. You see? I left the top untouched. To make sure the skin is extra crispy, mix one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. 
give this a good rub on top making sure to work into the cuts you've made as well this will draw even more moisture ensuring an ASMR worthy crackling now we're going to do some origami using aluminum foil and we're going to make a boat for your pork belly leaving just the skin exposed so what this does is that the meat gets cooked by trapped heat indirectly here and then the skin gets zapped with heat directly face on like that now let the pork boat rest and sit in the fridge to dry out you want to chill it uncovered for around four hours or overnight so it will really dehydrate the skin really well okay so i'm back with my groceries but Pork belly is the belly sukiyaki. It's like the best I can find that is closest to my favorite pork belly I always get from Mukata. Inoki mushroom. I'm not a big fan, but I'm okay. Crab stick, my favorite. Cheese tofu. Cabbage. The mama noodle. Side note, last one. It is not something that the Mukata store will ask. It is the drink store. Xiaomi in Yang Her I always get Pepsi because it is like already a very guilty meal and I don't mind being even more guilty by getting a sweet drink <laughs> okay I'll go and prepare all these ingredients and then I'll probably like lay my pot outside because I don't want my house to be oily so I'll be right back see y'all I'm eating my homemade wrap right now I'm gonna enjoy this first then I'll satisfy my mukata craving at night I wonder what is Sarah doing? Is she making shower? roll? I won't be surprised because she loves that a lot So this has chilled overnight and right now it's pretty hard and dry and this is the best time to score the skin even more with your knife Now I'm gonna wrap it back up Okay, we're gonna do some salt baking So we, we are really 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 gonna spam the salt on top and don't worry, this salt layer is going to be removed after so it won't be overly salty and this is going to draw any extra moisture out even more I already preheated it just like you would with a normal oven because when you put the pork belly inside, you want it to be blasting hot you want to set it to 30 minutes and for the heating element, you want to choose both the top and bottom layer because you want it to be really hot I have no idea what temperature this oven is gonna cook it so after 30 minutes I'll uh, just keep coming back to have a check. This is like my makeshift in the setup and my cute little bowl. So ready for it to heat up. Oh it's quite hot right now so we'll add some oil because I have no pork blood. My pork belly. Ouch! Okay it feels like Mikata because it's splattering all over. Not bad I'm at it looks good, okay? And then I'm going to add in some cheese tofu And then I'm going to add crab steak Ow! 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 Just dissolve, dissolve, dissolve Can you see my pork belly? Mmm! Oh. I think the sukiyan is a bit too thin not enough fat and definitely I recommend y'all to season your meat because it's a bit plain after a while you know the when you go in Mukata right there is this like pork lard smell and stuff you know my house doesn't have pork lard and not only that I feel so lonely eating alone hot oh. mmm so hot <laughs> sorry that goes like that hot <laughs> Mushroom is the bomb. Wow. Why did I hate it so much last time? It's so good. The bad thing is, I love to drink the soup when I'm eating mukata. And I can't do it now because I have to finish grilling all the stuff I want to grill first before I can pour soup in and make my meat. Okay, I think it looks cooked. So, what I need to do right now is remove the layer of salt and then pop it back in for the skin to really crackle up and this time you want to set a timer to 20 minutes I think it's somewhat done 
So you can see here that the skin has fully crackled up. Can you hear this? I'm actually cutting it sideways because it's easier that way. You're working with many different kinds of texture. The meat, the fat and the crispy crackle. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try one off the camera though. Okay, looks wise, it looks like a success because the skin has really crackled up really nicely and there are those distinct layers of skin, fats, meat, fats, meat. Mmm, can you hear that? I think the only thing I'm missing now is the yo fan, which I have no idea how to cook. Don't make me cook it, please. So yeah, maybe I can save money and cook all my shao rou fan lunches at home. Or maybe I can open my own shao rou store. Kiara's crackling rice. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've already cooked a whole bowl of stuff. So that I can add the soup in. Let's see what happens. No, 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 no. Uh, the reason why I don't want to take out the oil because from what I remember, the mukata pot right, you know the sides, the oil will flow down and then like that's where all the flavour from your soup comes from. Is in vegetable as well? Yeah, why not right? Oh my god, yeah, it has became a steamboat pot. Other than low efforts, high return, another thing that I really look for in a recipe is its simplicity. Like if it's simple enough for me to recreate the dish again and again, that is a good recipe. And I can't believe that today I can finally say that I know how to cook my favourite food, which is shawro. So yeah, thank you Clarice for giving me a call yesterday and throwing me this 24 hours eat book cooks challenge. I mean, before that, I couldn't believe that you can make your own shower roll at home using just an oven toaster. I thought you needed a really huge furnace to crackle that pork belly up, but no, you can do it at home also. Okay, so I have done cleaning up everything, and I would say that it is indeed craving satisfied. To be honest, even though it was at first a bit like, Hmm, does not taste like how mukata should taste like. But I think a big part plays on the pot itself, which I do not have sadly. But then the whole experience was pretty fun. I even called my friend <laughs> to eat with me because I was so sad because mukata is all about eating with friends. Comment down below if you agree with me. Maybe I should have warned my family that I am trying this challenge. But the producer didn't give me any time to plan this so blame the producer you made me eat alone one tip for everyone who's gonna try cooking mukata at home number one is definitely try to get pork lard number two if you love pork belly like me do not get the belly sukihaki because I feel like the taste and texture is very very different but if you are going for the shabu shabu kind definitely you can go for that Another tip is to definitely marinate your meat and marinating your meat allows the other ingredients to have flavour like especially your enoki mushroom. Oh my god, that is my Aww. new founder. We will leave it in the description box below the different marinades you can try. So yeah, if you're craving anything, let us know in the comment section down below. Maybe I can try cooking up in my oven toaster or rice cooker or ting in her hot pot. Who knows? Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you love videos like this, watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye!